Oh, gee whiz. I just got back from San Onofre. Boy, has that place changed. Nowadays, they've got some real people there. They use $35 words. They're uh, gentle people. And you know who the gentle people are? Tom Bisline, who's the president, is the, he's the sharpest knife in the drawer. The other ones, I don't know. But see, I, I went down there and I have a legends uh, placard, a blue placard that says when you get in to the area where the kiosk is and there's a waiting line, you drive right in and you hang this uh, placard. Let's see what it is. It's a, um, it's like a backstage all area pass. So I go down there and there's a, you know, there's no ways, there's nothing. And there's, of course, a line. So I hang up the placard, and this guy says, No, that placard is no good. You have to go and get in the back of the line. And I said, Wait a minute. How long have you been working here? He says, This is my first day. Well, so anyway, they wouldn't let me in with the, a placard, and you know the placard I'm, of which I'm speaking. So we left, and gas is expensive. And we went back to San Clemente State Park, and we talked to the ranger there, and he said they had no right telling you you can't go in there with that uh, Legends Pass, the Blue Legends Pass. So he called ahead, and we went back down there, and they let me right in. And then let me right into the area where they got all Al G's down there. He's a Hawaiian now. Um, he and Duke of Hanamoko are all Hawaiians. So we get there. San Onofre Surf Club has turned in. It's a dog beach. I have never seen so many dogs in my life. And these are mean dogs. These are not little chihuahuas. These are mean dogs. So I went there, and people using those $35 words, you know what they are. They got the ukuleles, they got Plenty of food down there. I've never eaten so much food in my life as I did today. Stuffed. Then, Al G is there, and he's down there, and he runs that San Onofre, uh, they like to call Hawaiian Club. Oh, Jesus. Can you believe that? Anyway, I always say that you'll never see me down there at that beach again. I take that back. San Onofre, and I'm going to say this right now, is my home break. And you know what the home break is? Well, it is. I'll be back down there next weekend, um, weather permitting and um, stuff like that. But I had to tell you that I went there. It's a, 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 the place now is just uh, mean dogs. These are not little um, dash hounds. These are mean boxers that are, uh, they're, they're big. And one guy, one dog's name uh, is uh, Butch. And the other dog's name is uh, Chew, like C H E W. Chew, Chew! You know, they get the guy's leg and Chew, Chew. Well, that's San Onofre for you. 
there's um, the Hawaiians have still got that they can't use the beach they just park their tables and everything in the middle of the road and you have to drive around so you don't hit the high Hawaiians cooks and I don't know why Sal G's isn't in the San Onofre Surf Club or maybe he is anyway I'm going to tell you right now I am running for the board of directors at the San Onofre Surf Club and once I get into the, the board of directors, I'm running for president. Although that Tom Beislin is really a great guy, I'm running for president. And you know what the first thing I'm going to do when I do that? Is I am going to get rid of the board of directors except for an assistant. You have Tube Stake as president and his assistant. And I know who the assistant's going to be.